three ridiculously powerful features that Evernote has today on Dottotech. Sorry to interrupt, this will just take a moment, uh, but I thought it was important that I do a bit of a disclaimer before you jump into the main part of today's video, because I actually thought twice about whether or not we should publish this video, but I've decided to go ahead and publish it, and here's the reason that I thought twice about it, is we've been expressing some concern about the future of Evernote, about the leadership that the company's having and how they've been updating it and how competition is increasing. Having said that, I believe Evernote will be around for a long time to come. There's 225 million users. They are not going away. It's just a question of whether they are our first choice in the future as a online note-taking app. That future is still up in the air as far as I'm concerned. Having said that, I'm continuing to use Evernote myself for the foreseeable future, and the features that I'm showing you here today are indeed the main reason that Evernote is still so relevant in my life. So I just wanted to fast track because I know there's going to be lots of comments saying, wait a minute, Steve, you've been talking about how Evernote isn't moving with the times. Yes, that's the case, but it's still a viable tool. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Steve Dotto here, how the heck are you doing this fine day? At Dotto Tech, we make technology easy so you can do more. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did an editorial where I sort of poo-pooed Evernote. I was a little bit upset that Evernote had wasted a whole bunch of energy telling us about a new logo, when what I was really hoping for was some new capabilities and features. But, having got that out of my system, I took a step back and thought, well, what are the things about Evernote that make it still so relevant in my life? And I came up with my top three features of Evernote today, or at least the things that I value most in Evernote. And I'm gonna share them with you in just a few moments. But first, let us take time for a quick word from today's sponsor, which is the Evernote Quick Start Guide. Yes, indeed, it's my own little mini course. Now, this is a free course that I designed, which is, I believe, the fastest and best way for you to get started using Evernote. If you find the information that I'm about to share with you today compelling and you want to get off using Evernote, <laughs> that sounds totally rude. If you want to start using Evernote by getting off on the right foot, <laughs> then I recommend that you take my Evernote quick start guide. Let's get on to the demo. Perhaps the most underutilized tool within Evernote is the camera. It's a just ridiculously powerful in Evernote for collecting all different types of information. Now, when you access the camera, you can access the camera to capture whiteboard notes or you can capture, well, let, let's just use it now. And let me show you, I take, I, I still prefer to take notes by note, like by hand at conferences, like a notebook like this. Uh, and here's my notes from Video Marketing World. So let's just take that, capture that, and capture the note. Now, here's the cool thing. After you've captured a note using the Evernote camera, you can then tap here to determine what type of note, what type of data it is you're capturing. Is it just a photo you have? Is it a document, a colored document? Is it a post-it note or is it a business card? You can use, you can choose any one of these and Evernote is gonna treat the information slightly differently depending on what it is. But let's make this a document and let's just save this document right now to, uh, to, to, to the Evernote notebook. Okay, let's go back into Evernote now and I'm gonna go into my notes and this note has already been brought across into, it's already been synced. We've already synced this note. Now watch this, this is so cool. First of all, you've got access to the note here. If you go onto the information for the note, I wanna show you something. Down here, it tells me that the note has been indexed. If it's been indexed, it means they've gone through and they've converted the note into text. They've gone through and they've OCR the note so that now it is searchable text. Don't believe me? Watch this. I'm gonna just go over into an entirely different note and let's say that I'm searching for something that is in one of my notebooks, uh, in, in that note. Uh, let's see, I wanna find something about Wave video. So I type in the word Wave in my normal search. Look, at well, look, 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 look at that. It's already finding the word in the handwritten note in a, in a file that I just synced moments ago. Now think about this for a moment. Think about the power that this represents. You can take, uh, if you are a journaler, if you are a person that keeps journals and notebooks and notes, uh, you can keep your paper notebooks. 
You can write all of your notes in your notebooks. Write down the date on each note and it doesn't matter how prolific a note taker you are. You can just file these notebooks away. But if you take a picture every night of your notes and store it in a, in a journal notebook in Evernote, you can, anytime you need to find anything, do a text-based search on all of the notes that you have in your notebooks. And that could be thousands of pages of notes. So you remember you met somebody at a conference that you were at. You were at VidCon and you took notes at VidCon and there was somebody you met there and you wrote down their name and you can't remember the name. Well, you can look through all your notebooks to try and find that exact time, or you can do a quick search in Evernote. It's, uh, to me, this is one of the most underutilized, but potentially powerful and really kind of life-changing features that's built into Evernote that sometimes we forget about, or maybe we didn't even know that it was there. Anchor Notes. Now, I've been teaching people how to use Anchor Notes in our Evernote Quick Start Guide for a couple of years now. And I don't know if this is a concept somebody else came up with and I stole or if I came up with it myself. But Anchor Notes are really kind of not too technical, but very, very valuable. Here's what an Anchor Note is. In Evernote, I create one note that's like a living in a dynamic note. And I store all sorts of related information in that one note. It's not a scientific and a quick search way to go and find something. It's a physical, I'm gonna go there, take a look at my notebook and grab what I need from the notebook type of note. But it works for me and I cannot promise you, it will probably work for you. Here's how Anchor Notes kind of come into the real world. In Evernote, down the sidebar, we've got something called a shortcut bar. That's where we can put our favorite notes or notebooks or documents that we're working on. Top of mind stuff that we don't want to have to go in and search for all of the time. Now, Evernote is terrific for going through and searching for stuff, but sometimes we just want to keep going back to the same document over and over again and working with it. That's where I put my anchor notes. Now, in our Evernote Quick Start Guide, I teach you to use anchor notes to do things like uh, to put, put together a list of all of the different th consumable things that you occasionally have to buy for your house, the type and size of furnace fit filter you have, the water filters for your, uh, for your, under your sink or inside your fridge, those sort of serial number things that you ne can never remember when you need and you kind of have to go back to the source to look up each time. In my business world, I use Anchor Notes for things like affiliate links for all of the different products that we represent. So if I'm doing a webinar and somebody says, what's the affiliate link? You know, I'm interested in buying Focus at Will. I can just give them my link and I can just quickly go to this note and grab the link. Similarly, for all of our regular links, you know, of our main list builders, things that web URLs of things that I regularly need to share and I don't want to have to go and look up. Well, I do look them up, but I know exactly where they are because they're here in these anchor notes. I use them for my YouTube descriptions. Uh, depending on what video product we post, we have a stock narrative that we want to add in the description field of every single YouTube video. Now we write some custom code. We write some custom code. No, we write some custom text for each video to talk about the subtleties of that particular video. But we also want to make sure that we let people know about Webinar Wednesday and let them know about our Patreon account and let them know where they can book me as a speaker and let them know and let them know and let them know. So here I have the stock description templates for all of those different YouTube video types and all I have to do is go and grab this whenever I am doing all of the YouTube SEO for any of those videos. And not only me, but when one of my team members is doing the work, these notes are all shared, they can go access the notes and whenever I've got new information to add or I wanna edit or update something, I just go into the note in whichever anchor note it is and I update the information, add new information or modify the existing information. Anchor notes to me are, they, they are one of the things that just kind of keeps the, keeps the engine running for both my business and productivity life. Without question, the feature that I've used the most in Evernote and that I've found most indispensable in Evernote is the Evernote Web Clipper. Now this is an extension that plugs into your web browser that allows you to curate and to collect information Anything you see online, you can collect into Evernote and not only collect, but index it so that you can find it again in the future. Uh, now I've shown you this in, this in the past and I will show it to you again in the future, I'm sure, because it is just, to me, it's still the most valuable tool 
that's built into Evernote. And here's how the Evernote Web Clipper works. As I say, it is a tool that you install in your browser. I've got it installed here in Chrome, and it's a, it's a browser extension that we access by clicking on the browser extension here. Now, in the real world, how you end up using it is uh, you're doing some research on a topic, and you find, like, I'm right, right now preparing uh, some more webinar videos, videos on how to do webinar. And I want to explain to people what RTMP is. It's a transmission layer uh, that many webinar packages are using. And I want to find an easy way to explain it. And I found a nice little article here from the manufacturer, Manicam, who does a good job of explaining it. So this is something that I want to source and I want to be able to read when I'm ready to write the, uh, prepare the demo. Uh, and I want to save it as a source typical of the sort of information that we want to collect that now makes uh, makes whatever story we're about to create or whatever product we're working on that much more valuable. Here's how the, Ever uh, the Evernote Web Clipper works. I found the article here. I go click save the article here by clicking on the Evernote Web, Cl Web Clipper and it allows me to save the clip. And here's all my solutions. I can save just the article. Now, Evernote will actually parse through the web page and it'll choose to choose just the article itself. So it'll look and it'll try and get rid of any advertising and sidebar information. You see here, there's all this sidebar information. It will get rid of all that and just save the article. That's nice and useful for kind of simplifying things. A simplified article that makes it even more simple. It, it just basically strips almost everything out of it. Uh, the full page, which means that you're not gonna miss anything. Unlike say taking a screenshot of something, it's gonna grab all the information as long as the page goes, but it's also gonna include any advertising or any sidebar information that's in the page. So we're gonna have all of this information here as well. If I want, I can just save it as a bookmark that we I can then notate and I can look it up as a bookmark, the way that we kind of did old school bookmarks in our browser, but you can find them much easier because Evernote has a search function. Or you can take a screenshot. Now, if we take a screenshot, we can turn it into a graphic and we can actually mark it up and communicate with it in a variety of different ways. So we have all of these different options. I'm gonna choose the article. Actually, I'll choose the full page to save right now. But then we can do more. For example, we can choose to which notebook we are gonna store it in. Now, since this is research that I'm gonna use for an upcoming uh, demo, I'm gonna store this in my demo and idea notebook. And I can add tags, I can add webinar, I can add the word webinar to it. And you see, I've got these different web webinar, I've got a tag for webinars, so that when I'm searching and I'm preparing to do my, uh, when I'm preparing to write the script for that video, if I just search up webinars in my tags, all of the different research material that I have on webinars will bubble to the surface and then I can pick and choose what I want to use for research. So here is a collection and research tool using the Evernote Web Clipper. I'm really giving myself the best chance to do the best work possible. Once this is all done, I can click save clip and now it's being stored and saved into my Evernote account. Now, before I show you the note, they've added this nice little feature here right to the end of the Web Clipper that if you wanna add a reminder, to, to a note saying, you know what, look at this tomorrow or look at this next week, you can set a timed reminder to remind you that you've saved this information. Just a pretty useful little additional feature that I hadn't noticed before and I've never used up to now, but I might use in the future. Uh, once that's done, we can now open it up and let's have a look at it. Let's actually jump over to our Evernote account and go to all notes and it should be stored. It should already be synced. If we scroll here to the very top and there it is. What is RTMP and what does it do for live streaming? There's the information. Now, I don't have to go looking for it online again. I've got it in my Evernote notebook for when I need it. Well, there you have three of my favorite features in Evernote. The Evernote camera, so very powerful. The web clipper, so very useful. And the concept of anchor notes, so very practical. Now, I love to see your comments and suggestions, and I promise you I read through every one. I can prove it to you. Look here. Nicholas Ramirez just posted, thanks for the video, Grandpa. I do read each and every one of your comments, even if I don't have time to reply to them all. So please, give me your suggestions, things you'd like to see in upcoming videos, ask me your questions, and try to be nice. Now, if you found today's video to be useful, entertaining, or enlightening, a few favors to ask. If there's somebody who might benefit by this video, please share it with them, let them know about Dotto Tech. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, well, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you hear when we upload any new videos here at Dotto Tech. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun.
fun storm in a castle. <laughs>